What's important to me is that I wake up in the morning and I think the day is going to be worthwhile. There's something to do that I'm going to feel good about. I sail, I teach, I volunteer. Uh, and I lived overseas for 40 years in seven different countries. Oh, when I first was told that I had prostate cancer, I was very, very worried. Active surveillance is an alternative for management of prostate cancer. It involves careful monitoring as opposed to immediate treatment. It's only one available option. Treatment is also an option for men who have more aggressive disease. Uh, the active surveillance program has allowed me to live my life normally for the last 10 years without any of the side effects of surgery such as uh, incontinence or impotence. Here at Hopkins since 1995, uh, we've been entering men into surveillance and there have been over 1,700 men in the program. And what we've learned is that less than 1% of these men will die of prostate cancer over 15 years who are in monitoring. So we consider this to be a very safe approach for selected individuals, which has now been exported beyond the walls of Hopkins and is considered standard of care throughout the world. Tools would be repeated uh, magnetic resonance imaging to look at the inside of the prostate, uh, measuring PSA, and then repeated biopsies. One of the tools we're very excited about, we call a decision support tool. We're using data collected over 22 years. It helps us understand the need for biopsy and it helps us understand the safety for that individual remaining in surveillance. One nice thing is that I can check my chart on my iPad. So after I've had a visit, I can look up my PSA score, I can look up the results of the biopsy, and it's always a relief to see they're good. It's been a very satisfying uh, process because I don't worry day to day, and I'm confident that if it does change, this program will find it in plenty of time to do something about it.